Hello guys, welcome to Trading Room. And in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to edit your rich cap in Archicad. Okay, so let's proceed without wasting much of your time. So from what you can see here, we have the regular rich cap. Okay, and if you want to, you know, maybe spice in your own based on the, the shape of that particular mode that they use for the aluminium fin sheet, um, they can actually mold it based on their own shape. That's why you can see different types of rich cap. It actually depends on the kind of mode they are using on the factory. Okay. So I'll be showing you how to use, um, how to effect that in your own rich cap. Okay, maybe you want to use another shape of rich cap. How to do that? I'll be showing you that in a minute. Okay, so the first thing to do is model that your roof first. Okay, model your roof first. I've already um work on this roof, so we can uh, reuse this one. So let's just create something new. All right. So let's just say this is the roof. All right. Let's say this is the shape. Of the building this is the shape of the building and we want to work on the roof all right so let's dive into that click on the roof all right click on the roof and then come to this um, CI tools click on CI tools move your cursor down um, down to covering this covering under covering move to roof covering and click there okay so the first thing you see if you're using it for the first time you will, this is the this is the first place you're going to see okay so um from here now you need to click on this arrow this is where you set your roof if you're using step ties this is where you set the step ties these are actually the measurements that i'm using okay so you can actually use this one as well that is a 300 450 15 that's if you're using ties right step ties but you can choose to use flat roof corrugated roof rib roof shingles ties spanish ties so it all depends on which one you want right so um, for the sake of this tutorial, we're working on um, rich cap. Okay, we're working on rich cap. So I'll be moving direct to the rich cap. So from there, I'll be showing you how to do those adjustments. Okay, so let's dive into that. So keep clicking on this arrow. All right, you get to a point where you see um, bad flashing, bad flashing. Okay, both this one and this one are working together. All right. So this is just like a side. You're seeing the side of it. While this other side, you're seeing the complete shape of that particular rich cap. So from here now, under this um, bad flashing, click on flat. You see under profile, okay? Under here is under custom. While under style is custom settings, while under profile is under flat. So this way, all these ones you're seeing are types of rich cap. So you click on flat, um, flat square. This is flat square. If you click on um, flat road, this is flat road. If you check here, you see the difference. All these ones are almost similar. If you come back let's check um let's check road so this is road now let's make use of road okay let's make use of this one so if you click on this next now you can see how this is going to come out like okay so you can do some basic adjustment if you want to you can't adjust here you have to go back to this other side to do the adjustment all right if you want to so from here now this is where you change the paint color right paint color you can change the color from here so i made it dark right that color because the roof is also dark so it's the same thing so um let's see the next one and this was the basic settings for this one all right this is the basic settings and um, okay okay it's the same thing yeah, yeah yeah you need to see this one too this end cut end cut right you can see how this part is trimmed now this is the rich cap this is the roof so this place is trimmed to fit in with the row. i'll show you that once we go back Okay, so make sure it's under trim to roof. If you leave it like this, it's going to you know come out from the roof. So make sure it's under trim to roof, and then click OK. Let me show you something. So from this one, now you see that we only have two flat surfaces. One is here, one is here, just flat. But on this new one now, you can see that we have flat here, one flat here, and then with a round curve, okay, at the middle, round curve at the middle. I'm trying to get a better angle. Okay, so you can see what we have now. Okay, this is what we have. So it all depends on, it all depends on the factory, all right, and also the client choice or your own choice as an architect or the engineer on site. So this is the basic way on how to do this. Okay, this is the basic settings on how to do this, and um, I think we'll be stopping here today opinion here today if you have any question please drop it on the comment section i'll add it to you all right thank you once again for your time see you on our next tutorial